Water is getting scarce. Agriculture is the number one user of water worldwide. If dry areas of the world aren't careful, their agriculture will soon be in big trouble. Morocco is a good example of a country that's woken up to its water problems. Although it irrigates one and a half million hectares of cropland using wasteful gravity irrigation, change is on the way. An FAO development project is bringing together local farmers into water user groups. The groups are responsible for pumps and water-saving drip pipes, which let them plant more valuable crops like melons. Farmer Bushaib al-Manawi is pleased with his new drip irrigation. Praise be to God. With this drip, the crops grew really well. We saved on labor, the expenses for inputs, and we increased the yield too. There are other farmers in other regions who are starting to learn about drip. We tell them it is good, that it is promising. The farmers grew tons of melons with their new system, but had to sell them at a low price to the first buyer who came. But with experience, we'll master the marketing side of it. Bushaib's wife, Danuia, finds that drip irrigation means less field work. Now I have extra time. I come back and work at home and take care of the children. I want my daughters to do well at school. I never went to school. Abdul Haq Gamimi, the national director of the project, explains the precarious state of the country's water supply. We are going to use water more efficiently, more economically, and we're going to get more profit and more production from the limited water we have using this type of system. Training is crucial in the move to a whole new way of farming. FAO trainer Mohamed Moumen worked with farmers throughout the transition. Farmer Mohamed Al-Alawi looks back and ahead. We have had irrigation here since 1964, but now we are very satisfied with this project because we note a big water saving.